Ah, the Serenity, folks. We truly do live in one of the best places on Earth, here on the Gold Coast. Uh, we've got beautiful little canals and lakes and streams, not to mention the ocean and our great beaches. And it's a beautiful day today. Can't see any funny clouds. Blue skies all around. All right, how you going, guys? It's Rubes here. Uh, also known as Spence. <laughs> I'm just sitting in the back of my van. In the back of my van, I've got 24,000 of Sandy's flyers. Okay, Sandy Roach, One Nation's candidate for Fadden in the upcoming by-election in Fadden. Now, um, this by-election, guys, is really, really important for Australia. Okay, because we definitely have a chance of getting Sandy in there. Well, she's got a chance of getting herself in there. Um, but you know what I'm talking about. Because she'll, if she'll make history, if she becomes, if she wins, because she'll be the first One Nation um, federal MP in this country's history ever. Yeah. So there's all the boxes of Sandy's flyers, guys. Sandy Roach for Fadden. We'll stick by you and fight hard for locals. We'll fight for the Gold Coast fair share of infrastructure. We have a plan to curb the rental crisis by reducing immigration. One Nation will tackle youth crime and a raft of innovative and effective policies. When things get tough, One Nation and Standy Roach will stick up for the people of Fadden. And if you look on the back, there's the Liberal Smurf who abandoned his seat of Fadden and why we're having a by-election in the first place. Good on you, Smurf. Yeah, so um, it's really important. Now, you might have recalled Sandy ran in the uh, 2002, uh, sorry, 2022 federal election in May of last year, and she got 9% of the vote, guys, in that election, and that, that's pretty good for a first time. And she'd never ran for political office ever, ever before, right? That was her very first time. And I think she's going to get more than 9% of the vote this time, you know, I'm, I'm very confident she can get over 20%. And you know, if she gets a little bit, a little, just a little bit more than that, she'll probably win. But uh, you know, we, we've got to be optimistic, guys, because it's really important. She's ground zero to fix our country. Now, um, on this Sunday at Runaway Bay Community Centre, Sandy's having a volunteers meeting. And uh, we would like it if, if you would uh, please come along if you're a volunteer because there's some very important information uh, Sandy's going to um, let everyone know about on Sunday. So it's at 12.30 at the Runaway Bay Community Centre and I'll put the address down below in the, in the video description, guys. Now also, um, Sandy's campaign phone number is 0478 280 517. Yes, I, I believe that's it. 0478 280 517. And I'll put that in the video description also, guys. And if you haven't uh, signed up to be a volunteer for Sandy yet, and you want to, please uh, call or text that number. Because that's her campaign number, guys, and it's the most easiest way you can contact her and the most easiest way she can respond to you. Now, um, so yeah, so we've got 24,000 flyers that have to get out into the community, and we're going to be handing them out on Sunday at the, at the volunteers meeting. We're also gonna have a sausage sizzle, Rube's sausage sizzle. I haven't done a barbecue in a while, so I'll break out the old, uh, old barbie and, uh, and uh, gas bottles and, and we'll have a feed as well. And I'll bring some water and maybe, maybe even a couple of, uh, couple of sly uh, uh, other beverages for later on. But once we get the meeting finished. But also um, guys, we're gonna need volunteers for polling booths. That's really important, especially pre-poll, okay? Uh, what Sandy tells me that in the first week of pre-poll, which starts on Monday the 3rd, they're gonna have two polling, uh, polling booths, polling centers, one at Runaway Bay and one at Helensvale. But in the second week, there's gonna be six, and Sandy will let you all know about it on Sunday at the meeting. But that's really important that we get polling booth uh, volunteers, guys, okay? And also, polling booth volunteers on the actual election day, which is July the 7th, uh, July the 15th, Saturday the July the 15th. Really important we get volunteers for that and scrutineers. 
So guys, we're gonna keep these bastards honest on that day because they've stacked the electorate of Fadden with 13 candidates, 13, and it's ridiculous, all right? And um, there's probably only five of them are actually from a party and the five or six are from a party and the rest are independents. And five, four of those independents do not even live in Fadden, okay? And if you have a look at Sandy's How to Vote cards, you'll probably see the ones we're talking about that don't live in Fadden because we put them last near the Greens and Labor. Okay, and uh, she'll, she'll also uh, release her How to Vote cards probably on Sunday too, guys, all right? So what they're doing is, and we've seen four of these friggin' teals, these independents, get in and out of the same car on uh, at the ballot draw last week. So they're working together to undermine the, uh, the vote in the electorate of Fadden, right? And, and we're going to try and make sure that doesn't happen by showing up in numbers on polling uh, pre-poll, showing up in numbers on polling booth day and being scrutineers and keeping these bastards honest. Because uh, the last thing we want is uh, Labor to take over that seat, all right? Because that'll give them uh, more power than they already bloody have and, and, and doing all these stupid laws and making these legislations without even t consulting the people and just doing whatever they want because they're corrupt. Now, you might have remembered, you know, I have said in the past that there is no political solution and I'll still stand by that statement, but we can't change the system from the outside. It has to, it has to, has to be destroyed and dismantled and started all over again from the inside out. So that's why I support Sandy uh, in Fadden, in the Fadden by-election, because she's gonna be ground zero to fix our country and tear that corrupt, evil, despicable corporation known as the Australian government from the inside out, guys. Okay, that's the way you have to do it, you know? Anyway, once enough people know about that and, and get on board with it, it's gonna be a landslide, it's gonna be like an avalanche, you know? I really believe that. And the same with the council um, elections that are coming up next year. We're gonna get good people in the local councils to, to fix that corrupt system. Because, you know, it really is corrupt. But uh, anyway, I'm rambling a bit now. But yeah, so just remember, on, su on Sunday, this Sunday, the 2nd of July, uh, 2023, we're having a volunteers meeting for Sandy, One Nation candidate for Fadden in the upcoming by-election there. All right, 12.30 at Runaway Bay Community Centre, guys. All right, I love you all. Have a great day. And uh, subscribe to Freedom.